guys and welcome back to our channel Martin Wajanet who is popularly known as the King of Kigosho is a renowned and award-winning gospel music minister in Kenya with a huge popularity in the central region. Martin also hosts the Kamemi TV's Kigosho live show every Friday night and Sunday afternoon together with his band. Martin Wajanet being a renowned personality has always kept his life private which is okay. In a recent social media post, Martin Wajanet got to post pictures of him together with his wife, who is not a Mokorino, as many would expect. Martin is married to a lady by the name of Betty Wamaida, who is also a gospel music minister with a huge popularity in the central region since she ministers in the Kikuyu vernacular language. Martin Wajanet can be categorized among the prolific Akorino gospel artists who have revolutionized the Akorino music giving it a sense and touch of modernity. It is these efforts by Martin Wajanet and other youthful Akorino musicians that among other things can be said to have led to the likability and adoration of Akorino music beyond the sect followers of as well as gaining a niche in the mainstream of Kikuyu gospel music. Before we continue, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for other interesting videos. This is the only platform whereby you can get information of celebrities that you have never heard before. If you learn something new, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon. Also, give us a like, share and comment. Martin Wajanet hails from Ranga County where he attended PK primary and secondary schools up to Form 3 before dropping out as a result of personal problems. While still a teenager, he worked at a hotel in downtown Nairobi around 2003 where he earned 100 Kenyan shillings daily. The hotel job proved challenging for his slight frame and one day, the blog documents excessive heat in the kitchen caused him to vomit. The hotel owner reprimanded him and Martin begged him to give him one more month after which he was assigned the role of a waiter. Martin lost his beloved mother in 2003. He worked as a matatu conductor where he used to ply Kiambu Town Route 100, a job he reportedly did until 2008. As a conductor wearing the Akorino white turban, he experienced lots of trials. He recalls a time while hanging on a matatu door, his turban accidentally fell off and the passenger asked him sarcastically what was that that fell off his head. Thank you for watching. If you have learned something new, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified immediately we post such interesting videos.